Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ace here. This video, I was not even planning on doing it, but I absolutely have to, absolutely have to, absolutely fucking have to! I'm bursting at the seams of excitement! Oh my goodness, I must keep myself in check. I was watching the Video Game Awards. Now normally this is a complete fuck up, a complete disaster, a complete and utter waste of time. Or it was called the Game Awards this time. Now for the most part, most of it I didn't care much for. Though, I'm going to go over a few things, and then one unmeasurable, insanely off the charts. It's not even scalable on the chart. It's, it's broken the chart. It's, you would need a bajillion charts to chart the awesomeness of this. But let's go over the first few things I wanted to say. Um, I, don't, I didn't write down notes for everyone and every award, <clears throat> but I did for the Nintendo ones, and they won a few. Nintendo won Best Developer for 2014, so, you know, huh, fucking take that, you stupid bitches, like Ubisoft and whatever. Uh, <laughs> Mario Kart 8 wins Best Sport Slash Racing Game, so good job, Mario Kart. Um, Smash Bros, I don't know if it's 3DS or Wii U, probably the Wii U one, I think it was, won Best Fighter Game, so that's great. Um, and then the last one, it's not Nintendo themselves, but uh, Best Indie Game. Shovel Knight. I was so happy that they won. Yacht Club Games is fantastic. They <clears throat> they are one of my favorite indie developers. Uh, they're new. And, uh, you know, in a way, it's a Nintendo win as well because, you know, it was only on 3DS, Wii U, and PC. There was no Xbox or uh, PS4 version. Uh, so, and I thought what was really funny was the guy giving out this award was the head guy at Sony. So he had to give out Best Indie Game to, you know, basically an indie game exclusive to Nintendo. So, I thought that was very fitting. Since everyone says that PS4 has the best indies, which is a lie. I mean, they have better than Xbox One, but Wii U has the best support for indies. Um, and then Game of the Year was, unfortunately, not Bayonetta 2, which, to be honest, I, want, I still say, you know, fucking Captain Toad for me. But, um, Dragon Age Inquisition won Game of the Year. Now, I have no issues with game or with uh, the game Dragon Age Inquisition. I've never played them. Uh, I don't hate them. I don't love them. I'm just you know, okay. I'm neutral on them. Um, I don't like how the game of the year was a game that EA was part of, that they were involved with. However, I am glad that the game of the year was awarded to a Canadian developer, and not only that, but another Alberta developer. That's right. Bioware, I think is their name. They're here, well, not here where I am. They're in Edmonton, same freaking province as me, Alberta, here in Canada. So bravo, Canadian developers, showing why you should not underestimate us. So good on you on that. Um, but I still say, like I said, Captain Toad, for me, is going to be my personal game of the year. Now... Nintendo was teasing, Reggie was there, and they were, you know, Jeff Keighley and him were teasing, oh, you got a big surprise later on, and I was kind of thinking, no, I don't want to hype myself up, and people in the comments were, you know, like, oh, Zelda, it's going to be Zelda, I'm just like, no, it's not going to be Zelda, that's not Nintendo style these days, that's not Nintendo style ever, um, I was thinking, at best, a 0.1% chance of Star Fox, finally, um, but I was seriously betting on just, you know, a new Splatoon trailer or something, even though technically that wouldn't really be a world premiere, um, and then Reggie says, the question I get asked about f by the most by fans is always about Zelda. Zelda Wii U. And right then and there, I lost my shit. I literally, like, I fell out of my chair on the floor. They started showing Miyamoto, because he's, you know, finally fucking involved with Zelda on a more important... Uh, aspect this time, since the last time since Ocarina of Time, and Anuma was with them, and they were there talking, playing, showing gameplay of Zelda Wii U. I fell out of my fucking chair. My heart almost exploded. I almost died. I almost puked from pure excitement. I was seizuring almost on the floor. That's a little over exaggeration. Where I saw the light. I died. I was going to the light. Not heaven, because I don't believe in that shit. But going to the video game light. And then I was brought back. And I was 
aware of my surroundings. And I tried to watch more Zelda. And it was absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, the most beautiful perfection I have seen since Ocarina of Time. Finally! Finally! This Zelda game will beat Ocarina of Time for best game ever. Period. Hands down. And I was seeing people in the comments, there was trolls all night saying, uh, Zelda's garbage, this is shit, put on COD or something like that. And I was just like, fuck you, get the fuck out of here, I'm gonna just fucking throw you down a lo fucking, I can't even talk, I'm gonna throw you down a volcano. But seriously, I was like pulling my hair out almost. I was, if I was a girl, I'd be screaming like a schoolgirl. <laughs> like, I, I can't, I, I could not see this coming a mile away. Nintendo showing Zelda, Wii U, the biggest, I don't care who the fuck you are, if you're a Sony fanboy, and a Sony hater, an Xbox fanboy, an Xbox hater, a Nintendo fanboy, a Nintendo hater, a PC elitist, I don't care. There is no fucking game that can match up to Zelda Wii U so far. Zelda Wii U is the best looking, best art style, best game, period, of the 8th generation. I don't care if you want to use The Last Guardian, the stupid Last of Us remake, uh, the Halo 5. Fuck them. They're crap. They can't hold a damn candle to the level of pure bliss that was Zelda Wii U. We saw on the gamepad the map. You can zoom in and out, and apparently it's huge. And it, Miyamoto was saying, like, uh, so, oh, is this the edge of the level over here, or the, the game world? And Anuma's like, nope, nope. And Miyamoto's like, how long would it take uh, to get over there? He's like, um, quite a long time, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> and they were like, we're just going to set a marker over here. You can use like the Wii U gamepad as a binocular type thing. And there's multiple high points because it's a fucking, it's a fucking massive world. Holy ch shit. I think this would be bigger than every Zelda game ever combined into one. If you combined every Zelda game ever made, all their game worlds, I think it would still be bigger than all that. It's fucking huge absolutely huge and it's not like you know twilight princess where no offense to it but it was a bit bare and wasteland like they got to a point where miyamoto was like oh i feel like there's something going on here there's a jump around isn't there and they were riding on the horse and uh shooting his arrow and you can do a jump off the horse in slow motion and shoot your arrow and oh it's it was oh your arrow makes a little, like, a metallic cling noise when it lets you know you hit a, a weak spot on an enemy. So that's kind of nice. And, ah, uh, just, even just going through my memory banks right now, my memory banks. It's like, I'm hard, or I'm hard, I'm trying not to, uh, uh, just, you know, burst into a Joker laugh almost, just like hysterical laughter. Like, oh, I can't get over how fucking amazing. And this is... Me talking about this is going to make me to sound like a total Nintendo fanboy. Not a Nintendo fanboy, but I've said before I'm a Zelda fanboy. My favorite franchise in the fucking world. But seriously, oh my goodness, I am just... That literally, Nintendo, you you should have put up a warning saying the, above, or the uh, following footage might cause heart attacks because I almost fucking died. That was absolutely ridiculous. And this hypes me up even more for Miyamoto's Star Fox game, which, by the way, uh, Inuma, I almost had a second heart attack when Inuma said, oh, so I hear you're working on Star Fox. I was, and I was already ripping at my hair, and I was like, you are not going to show me Star Fox 2. And they didn't, unfortunately. But, <laughs> but uh, Miyamoto himself says, uh, well, first of all, Inuma says, Zelda is coming next year. No questions asked. No ifs, no ands, no buts. 2015, which... Some people still think, oh, it's going to get pushed into 2016. No, Metroid's 2016. Uh, but anyway, and it's going to be November. Mark your calendars. I'm telling you right now. He didn't know, he didn't say November, but it's going to be. Anyway, Miyamoto said, oh, Star Fox. Yeah, that's true. I'm working on that. And it will be out next year before Zelda. He said that, which I said that in my videos. I told you guys. I thought Star Fox would be, you know, maybe October, which would only be a month before Zelda. But yeah, Miyamoto himself says it will be out before Zelda which means it will be out before November. Unless they're going to be like, oh, well, one day before Zelda, so it's still technically out before. Either way, that alone obliterated 
everything at the Game Awards. That Zelda Wii U gameplay, and I can't wait for it to be on YouTube. I'm going to save that shit. I'm going to maybe even upload it on my own channel just as a so people can see and whatnot. And, oh, it was amazing. I uh, uh, I don't want to talk anymore. I don't want to talk anymore. I just want to die and go into a coma until Zelda Wii U comes out. Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. I can't believe I'm so happy. That's the happiest a game has ever in my life made me. Literally. Like, Ocarina of Time is my favorite game ever, and I honestly am saying, this is going to beat it. I have nothing more to say. So, Nintendo obliterated, unlike the last video game awards where their big news was Cranky Kong. Uh, but, <sighs> Microsoft didn't really have much of anything. Sony had a few things. The Bloodborne, bleh, Bloodborne trailer was pretty cool. Uh, but, Nintendo... That Zelda game, that Zelda Wii U, man. How anyone can say that the Wii U is weak with that. You don't have a damn functioning brain cell in your brain if you honestly think that. I even saw one guy in the comments saying, Is this PS4 graphics? <laughs> no, this is future graphics. This is something that the PS5 and Xbox whatever next one if there is another one even those could not achieve the art style was phenomenal beautiful best art style in a Zelda game ever period hands down anyway I'm done I'm original blood ace as always <sighs> wake me up when the game gets here see y'all next time